Ta'ala. To remember our humility. Part of the reason why we have so much ghaflat, one reason is laziness. Pakistani Nojavan, illness number one, susti. Pakistani Nojavan, illness number two, takabbar. Takabbar not necessarily vis-a-vis somebody else. Takabbar in the sense of not having their humility for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not having their humility in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without humility, there's no way, no way a person can come on this deen. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that any person who has zarra, a zarra, an atom's worth of takabr will not enter Jannah. Allah Akbar. This is one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attributes, al-akbar, his kibriya'i, that nobody can have any share in. Other of his attributes we're supposed to try to adorn ourselves with, his kar, his kareem, or karam. His rahm, that we should be generous, we should also be merciful. But his kibriya is something that nobody can have any share in. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet in Hadith Qudsi that kibriya is my cloak. Nobody can try to enter into my cloak. But to make ourselves amongst the shakirin. If we become amongst the shakirin, then automatically we will become amongst the zakirin. One way to increase our shukr is to give sadaqah. One of the most, imp- many, one of the more important teachings of this month of Ramadan, which we have not touched upon with you yet, is the giving of sadaqah. It's mentioned that Rasulullah used to increase abundantly the amount of sadaqah he used to give in this month. That is a way to become a person of shukr. And Allah subhanahu wa mentions in the Quran al describes people that they give from that which they love. This can be interpreted, number one, that we love our money, we love our wealth. It can also be interpreted that we love our earnings. We feel that these are our justly earned earnings. It's difficult to part with them. Another way this is interpreted is that we give from the good things that we have. We give away the things that we are fond of, that we are attached to. We give those away in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you do that, that is an act of sacrifice, that's an act of detachment from this world. You have something you really like or something you're very fond of and you give it away, you will become less attached to this world. You'd be amazed, right? Sometimes people are so attached to their things or roommates. <laughs> Fight, they're so attached to their their shampoo. Why do you use my shampoo? You be me the fadi kada. Allah Akbar. Right? So attached to worldly things. So sadaka is a major, major. I'm not talking zakat. Sadaka. Zakat is something different. Zakat to khair, there's nothing in zakat. Zakat to hay first. We are too, we pat ourselves too much on the back for doing first. Z- paying zakat is like eating and breathing. It's part of the necessities of life. Do you congratulate yourself on the ability to breathe? Do you congratulate yourself on the fact that you eat and drink? We should not congratulate ourselves if we give zakat. Sadaka. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in several places. Sadaka. Voluntary charity. Voluntarily giving up what we have in this world. Sacrificing what we have. Doing it for those who are more needy than we are. This is a month of massive sadaqah. In order to give sadaqah, you don't have to give a lot. You don't have to give thousands of rupees. 100 rupees can be a sadaqah. 10 rupees can be a sadaqah. Everyone can give according to some of your students. Everyone can give according to their ability. If you haven't given already, you should make arrangement to pay your sadaqah to fitr. That is wajib. That is required. That's what I think the imam announced. 50 rupees. Allah Akbar. 50 rupees. Mithu Kata, your guys, sadaqah starts at the price of a jazz cart or a meal. 300 rupees. You guys blow 300 rupees like this. You go get a jazz cart, you go eat somewhere, you can blow 300 rupees. To Mithu Kata, 300 rupees should be the start. Because you should feel it. <laughs> we want you to feel it. The account about here that you, some friend comes, you can take him out on the tree, you can eat for 700 rupees. And somebody comes and you give them charity 5 rupees and khushote. 
پانچ روپے اللہ ایکچولی دوز کوئنس اٹ یو نیور یوز دیر سٹنگ ان یور کار اینی وے دیٹس وائی یو گیو اٹ یو ڈونٹ فیل اٹ ایٹ آل اگینسٹ دا قرآن ایک فلاسفی گیو سدک فرام دیٹ وچ یو لو گیو سم تھنگ دیٹ یو فیل نوٹ دا بینیفٹ آف سدک از گوئنگ ہیپن دین ان شاء اللہ لذیذ یو ول فیل وین یو گیو سدکا اینڈ پنچز یو سم پیپل یوز ٹو گیو سدکا سچ دے ول انڈینجر دم سیلف لٹرلی دے ول گو سو مچ سدکا that they are giving so much of their income, they're in danger that maybe they didn't even leave enough for themselves. The ultimate example of this is Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ibn Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made a call for sadaqah. He gave everything. Everything that he had. Even his clothes. And he wrapped himself with a, like a mat. A mat type of thing. That's how the best way I can put this in Arabic or in English. A type of a rag, a rag that somebody may also use as a mat. And he came to the Prophet something like that. And the Prophet asked him, Abu Bakr, what have you left for your family? He said, I've left Allah and His Messenger. Then the angel Jibreel Islam came, wearing that same mat. <laughs> so the Prophet asked him, what are you wearing? And the angel Jibreel said that Allah SWT is so happy with Abu Bakr, that he has asked all of the angels to adopt his likeness. All of the angels are wearing this rag and mat. Allah Akbar Kameena. Kitne kabool thai? Allah Ta'ala jib muhammad karte hai, Allah Ta'ala ke apne andaz hai. So, there are people like that also who get so much sadaqa. They leave nothing. The Prophet Sallam, you never used to keep any money. As and when anything came, gone, spent. On the Sahaba Sufa, on the poor, feeding people, giving away, coming and going, coming and going. There's no concept of savings. If the Baudur, you guys start the critique of capitalism, Baudur said, you just critique the, uh, the, but the Prophet and the capital. What though the Islamic asal, but the, it's not far as, but the highest level of the Islamic tars is way, way, way at the beginning. They never even kept money. It's just as it comes, it goes. We don't even need a wallet. <laughs> Let alone a bank account and multiple accounts and safes and wo, wo kya hai? the box to a time, right? To have to give more and more sadaqah. And really as a student you should feel this. You should give sadaqah. Don't think I'm a student, I can't give it. In fact, when you give it, you will feel it, inshallah. If you, if you are, I mean some of you, with the, despite being students are very well off, some of you being students are on a budget, right? That person who is on some type of budget and gives sadaqah, oh, you will feel the barakah immediately in your life. And you will feel happy. And you want, you start viewing money as a boat. You don't have that feeling. This is that the sum of viewed money as like a, a burden. And every penny or every pass is something to be accounted for. We don't, we want to amass it. We view it as a zenith. We view money as a zenith, as a status, as a wonderful thing to have. They wanted to get rid of it. Give it away, as much as I can. 